Nama rupa Pai Chida Nyana and Paja Pratapa Nyana and so on are the same. Yes. The way you experience on nature of the Dhamma may be different to one another, may depart to one another, but the Nyana, the insight, the level of insight. Now you are practicing meditation to see Nama and Rupa, Nama and Rupa. At one note, at one note, you have to be able to see Nama and Rupa. That kind of knowledge is called Nama Rupa Preceda Nyana. And Bajra, Bajra Preceda Nyana is one kind of understanding the linking or the connection between the two phenomena. Two phenomena, um, for example, the cause and effect. Because of the cause, there, there appears the effect. Something like that. That kind of knowledge is Bajra Preceda Nyana. That kind of knowledge may be the same, but the way you experience the nature of the Dhamma may differ to one another. But the knowledge that you gain from practice meditation may be the same. Nama Rupa Preceda you can have Nama Rupa Preceda and another one can have Nama Rupa Preceda and you can have Bajra Preceda and another one can have Bajra Preceda Nyana. There is no difference between them. So, also accomplishing the task of the comprehending the Four Noble Satcher is the same. So, there are four tasks to accomplish or to comprehend the Four Satchers. They are the same. The four tasks are the same. Those who practice the Vipatana Vipassana with the correct method accomplish the experience of the Four Satcher at every notion. Yes, you are unable to explain about this. For example, you are limited. You are limited, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out, according to the Mahasi Seattle, the rising, falling of the abdomen. So you have to notice that rising and falling, rising and falling, in Burmese, pounded, binded, pounded, binded. But in another way, for you people, foreigners, okay, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. In one notion, you have to uh, comprehend the four subjects. The most important thing is you must be able to understand the four subjects at one notion. One notion, at a single notion. You have to accomplish four tasks in one notion. So, the first one is disarming and comprehending the truth of suffering. Disarming and also understanding or knowing. Discerning and comprehending the truth of suffering, Dokka Sajjara. In Burmese, regarding the Dokka Sajjara, there is a task that is called Bide. So you have to, you have to know, you have to know, you have to understand the Dokka Sajjara. Uh, regarding the Dokka Sajjara, in Burmese, we have one word, Bide. What is that? Bide. Yes. And the second one is abandoning the original suffering. The original suffering Suffering is, as you all know, it is Tana. It is nothing but Tana. You have to eradicate Tana. Some kind of lust, some kind of desire, some kind of strong desire. So, Tana, you have to abandon, you have to eradicate. So, in Burmese, regarding Samudhiya Sajjara, Pei. What you have to know is Pei. Regarding Samudhiya Sajjara, the task for the Nyama failures, Nyama Buddhist failures, is but for the foreigners, the second task for regarding the Samudhiya Sajja, Tenna, some kind of desire, some kind of strong desire, and some kind of lust, you have to eradicate, you have to eliminate. It is second task. Eliminate. Why? How? How will you eliminate the second second Sajja, Samudhiya Sajja? Well, by noting, noting, without spreading your mind, and just focus on only one object. So only then you can eliminate the now. Yet this is the second task. The third task is realizing the truth, cessation of suffering, nirvana sajja. Nirvana sajja, the third sajja. So realizing the truth of cessation of suffering, the ending of suffering. How will you end the suffering? How will you put it to an end? So, well, just noting. When you are noting, when you are noting, there is there is no chance for Tana to come into your heart. But at the same time, no chance and 
you are eliminating the nerve at the same time. Something like that. So the third task is you have to eliminate the nerve. Here, realizing the total association of the way, neuroda sutra. Neuroda sutra. Neuroda sutra is when there is no kana, it is it is the it is the stage in which you are seeing, you are feeling neuroda sutra. Neuroda sutra is there is no lust, there is no kana. You, you are you know that just feeling that situation, just feeling that state, that state. Only then it will be complete, it will complete the third step, the third task. The fourth task is cultivated the way of the way leading to the truth of the cessation of suffering. Manhasata. Regarding Manhasata, you have to understand the eightfold path of Mandas. Eightfold Mandas. So cultivated the way is you have to practice accordingly. Accordingly, regularly, step by step, step by step, there are, there are eight things, and then there will be the explanation about that. Okay, now let's go to the accomplishment of the task for cultivating Manka Sajja. Cultivating Manka Sajja. According to the Sadamaran C. Seattle, yes, the study explains, explains about the Manka Sajja, not other Sajja. Metta Sajja, yogis who are practicing Vipassana meditation in accordance with the method of the most venerable Mahasi Siyasa are to note rising, falling, sitting, touching, and so on in sitting meditation. Well, we have sitting meditation, walking meditation, and general meditation. Well, here, regarding the sitting meditation, venerable Mahasi Siyasa, he said, we have to note rising, Falling, sitting, touching, and so on. In walking meditation, they have to note lifting, pushing, and dropping. There are three steps. Three steps in one step. You have to note lifting, pushing, and dropping. Three points. Three points in one step. In walking meditation, they have to note lifting, pushing, and dropping. Med walking meditation, they have to note sitting, standing, bending, stretching, and so on at other times. Okay. Now you're walking. For example, you're walking. You're walking. You have to note three points: lifting, pushing, and dropping. But at other times, how will you how will you meditate? Okay. For example, if you're bending your arm, you have to you have to note bending, 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 bending. So maybe four points, or five points, or six points, or differently. So bending, bending, bending. All you have to do is just know it. All you have to do is just note it. All you have to do is just be able to catch every moment of movement. Yes. Then you will see the impermanent nature in every action. So standing, bending, stretching, and so sometimes you are stretching your arm. Just like that, stretching out, stretching out. So then you have to know stretching, 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 stretching. Because slowly, in every notion, we are allowed to know slowly. We are we are allowed to move slowly. Only then you can see each and every step, each and every step of the nature of the Dharma. So the movement is also Dharma. To see the nature of the Dharma, you have to focus on that. And you have to see every step clearly. So that you can see the step clearly. You have to move. You need to move slowly. Only then you can catch every moment of the nature of the camera. Yes. And then involve mental three sila mangas in notion. It is a very important point. While noting road riser, the accomplishment or comprehension, the four noble truths will be explained now. While noting riser, rising is regarded the abdomen. Abdomen, pounding, pounding, pounding. When you are noting like that, rising, 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 then sama was water, sama kamanda, and sama ajiva, three megagars are involved. Now I'm going to explain about the sama water. Sama water is abstaining from the four evil words, four evil speech, just like telling lies and you know telling the harsh, harsh words, bad words. 
um, the four evils speech in body speech. The teachings of the according to the teachings of the builder, you have to abstain from the four evil verbal actions. This is called Dotarita. Waji Dotarita. And in another way, it is called the right speech. Sama Wata is in English the right speech. The right speech is, is it will cover all the things, okay, all the meaning. The right speech, you have to speak right, you have to speak correct, correct words, you have to speak the right words, you never lie. Yes, that's enough. So, it is very first Maganga. Maganga is the one part of the eightfold part that leads to Nibbana. So, when you are practicing, of course, it's very important to keep your mind. To keep your mouth um, to, to keep your mouth not to speak bad words. So it's some kind of morality regarding regarding morality. You don't need to speak bad words. You don't need to lie when you are practicing med meditation. So the first one is sama water, and second one is sama gamma. It's regarding to your physical actions. Your physical action is also very important to keep to abstain from the four. That, sorry, to abstain from the three physical actions, three physical bad actions, just something like killing, stealing, um, you know, doing the sexual misconduct. You, you don't have to do that when you are present in meditation. So, if you can abstain from three bad physical actions, it is called right action. Right action is samakyananda, second mekanda, second part of the eightfold part. And the third one is Sama Archie Wat. Now, people are doing business, or while they are doing business, they have to be right. They have to be, they have to be righteous enough. Um, they, don't, they don't need to bully, or they don't need to torture or anybody else for their business. So here, abstaining from the three physical actions, and the abstaining from the four evil verbal actions, it is called the right livelihood. The right livelihood is Sama Ajiwa. The third Maganga. Sama Ajiwa is very important. Now it is, it is very important to to follow and you know to make to keep yourself from from not doing uh, sorry, from doing the bad things. Okay, you're doing business. Uh, somebody say that oh we are doing business, we're doing business. Uh, in business, everything is fair. In business, everything is fine. Uh, no, not like that. If you want to go to Nibbana, if you want to practice the teachings of the Buddha, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do it like that. You can't you can't torture the people for your business. You can't, you know, give them the trouble for your business. So you, your livelihood must be right livelihood. So it is third making that. While practicing meditation, those three are called Sila Nightingales. Now, for example, when you are limited, rising, 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 or walking, 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 or sitting, 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 if you know each and every note, if you know each and every nature of the Dhamma, okay, those three Nightingales are involved in one note. Three Nightingales. Okay, then another one. Samadhi Mekanga. Involved mental, three Samadhi Mekanga. First of all, I will tell you the names. Sama Vayama Mekanga, Sama Sadi Mekanga, and Sama Samadhi Mekanga. Those three Mekanga are, are called Samadhi Mekanga. Well, well known to rise and to make an effort to be able to know the rise of action is Sama Vayama Mekanga. Okay? Now I will explain about the Sama Vayama Mekanga. Now, for example, you are limited, rising, 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 or bending, 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 or stretching, 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 or walking, walking, walking. You are noting. You are noting that. Then, what are you doing? Well, you are making an effort to be able to note the rising moment, or the appearing moment, or the disappearing moment, of every, every step of your movement. But you have to be able to see the appearance of the movement. For example, walking. The first movement and walking. Second movement. And you see the appearance and also disappearance of one step. So 
You are making an asphalt to be able to know, to be able to catch every moment of the nature of the Dhamma. It is called Sama Vayama, right asphalt. Right asphalt. But one notion, right asphalt, is very important to practice. It is one kind of cultivated or accumulated Sama Sama Vayama Nekonga. And another one is as soon as Rice appears, noting it attentively without forgetting it is Sama Sati Meganga. Sama Sati Meganga is one kind of mindfulness. One kind of mindfulness, right mindfulness. Right mindfulness, mindfulness is you don't think about anything else, just the object, the object, the meditation object. So now you are rising, noting the rising of the abdomen, your mind is just right on the abdomen. No, other things. So, Sama Sati, your mind or your consciousness is right just on the object. Not everywhere, not spreading everywhere. Sometimes the practitioners, the later the practitioners, after sitting for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes, their mind spread everywhere. Therefore, some people is shorter than, shorter than that I said, shorter than I said. No, after sitting five minutes, after sitting five minutes, their mind spreads, spreads away, and their mind is going, going around, okay, going around, and going around the world, something like everywhere. So, it is not called mindfulness. It is not called right mindfulness. The right mindfulness is, uh, you have to note attentively or mindfully without forgetting, without spreading everywhere, without spreading anywhere. Noting it attentively without forgetting it, Samasati Mahinga, when you are able to note that point, yes, because you have that right mindfulness. If you don't have right mindfulness, you can't catch. If you have right mindfulness, you can catch every step of the nature. Having the note mind be firmly on the right action from the beginning to the end is Samasamadi Mahinga. And another thing is, not another important thing is that you have to see the beginning and the ending, ending of one movement, of one nature, one phenomenon. Having a note to mind be following on the right direction from the beginning to the end is Sama Samadhi Meganga. Thus the three Samadhi Megangas are involved. Now you know the how the three Samadhi Megangas are involved. Okay? The first one is Sama Vayama, you make an effort to be able to understand the nature of the Dhamma. Second, you, you are mindful enough, mindful enough not, to, not to let your mind spread away. And third, Sama Samadhi, you, you just see, you, you can focus on one object for a long time. You can focus on one pointed object for a long time. And that's why you see the beginning and also the ending, beginning point and the ending point of one phenomenon. It is Sama Samadhi. Why you are practicing those three Samadhi Megagas are involved. And the involvement of two Banyan Megagas are not fit. While noting right and keeping an open mind, right from the object of noting is Sama Sankapa Meganga. Okay, every time you're thinking about something or another thing or other thing, Thinking about right now, you are thinking of only one meditation object, only one meditation object. You don't think about anything. So, your sankapa, sankapa is some kind of weak data. Yes, the sankapa is some kind of weak data, similar to it. It's, it's the same to the uh, weak data. But we can just think about many things, think about the object, think about the object. But this time, you think of you think of something, you think of the object, you know, firmly, firmly. The note mind right on the object of note, keep it, keep it a note in mind. Not letting the note mind go away, just keep it a note mind right on the object. It is called Sama Sankapa Mankinka. Um, one of the note mind is on the right side, the right move, the right movement is the coverality. Coverality is some kind of physical, physical thing. Coverality. Okay, coverality, that is not a well-handed. Rupa, Rupa is physical thing. Physical thing, 
it is not a well of anything. It can't be a well of anything. So the physical thing is Kabbalah is Rupa. Rupa and Dishoni Namar and Rupa initially is Sama Diki Mankenga. Okay, in this stage, you have to see two phenomena. The first one is Rupa, the second one is Nama. How would you see Rupa and Nama? For example, walking. So walking, walking movement, movement is physical thing. So it is called Rupa. And noting mind, walking, walking, walking. Your noting mind is Nama, it is consciousness. So at every noting, you you are able to see two phenomena, Nama and Rupa, at the same time. It is called Sama Diti Matanga. You are able to see Nama Rupa at the same time. And also you are able to see the impermanent nature of the suffering, of the non-self situation. And the Gita, Dukkha, Nanda, three characteristics. If you are able to see the three characteristics accordingly, or according to your practice, it is called Sama Diti Matanga. You have to be able to see according to the teachings of the Buddha. So, the two Panya Megangas are involved. Then for the three Sila Megangas, the three Samadhi Megangas, and the two Panya Megangas, the eight Megangas be involved in noting rising. Cultivation of Megha Center is accomplished. Now, we are talking about the task called cultivating the Megha Center, Megha Desabhuani. So, Cultivated Mecca Center, there are eight Megangas. They are involved in cultivating the Mecca Center. How? The three Sita Megangas, the three Samadhi Megangas, and the two Banya Megangas, as I said before, all of them are involved in one mountain. The eight Megangas being involved in mountain rising, cultivation of Mecca Center is accomplished. Now, it is complete. At that time, if you can catch every nature of the Dhamma, okay, you finish. It's perfect. That point is perfect. That point is to accomplish the cultivating the Metta Sajjan. So, you know, to falling in body spinning, spinning, falling movement, oxygen, touching also, as the age mountain guys are involved in every notion. For example, walking. In walking, Eight megagas are involved. And in Sijin, you are not in Sijin, Sijin, Sijin. Then, eight megagas are involved. And you are not in Sijin, 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 Sijin. Okay. At every point, eight megagas are involved. And when you are practicing, hearing, hearing, hearing. So, at every point, eight megagas are involved. And when you are not in speaking, speaking, speaking. Okay. So you can note. If you can catch every moment, so eight megahertz are involved in only one note. So all you have to do is to know. All you have to do is to catch every moment. So and then those things uh, are involved in that. In that case, it's not it's not a difficult thing for you uh, when you are present. When you are present for a long time, or maybe you have been present for one year or two years. Okay, you may understand that easily. They may not be a difficult practice for you anymore. Okay. In the same manner, uh, cultivation, cultivation of my passenger is accomplished. Accomplished for discerning no passenger. How do you know? How do you discern the no passenger? Why no horizon? The horizon is one entity. The horizon movement is one entity. And noting is another entity. Two things. It is how to how to how to design the Dhamma Center, how to understand the Dhamma Center. So first of all, you have to see clearly two things separately. The first one is right movement. Right movement is one entity, and noting noting is one entity. They are not the same. Differently. For example, walking walking movement is one entity, and noting mind is one entity, separate. They are not the same. They are differently appearing. And the rising is Rupa Dhoka Center. Rising movement is Rupa Dhoka Center. That is not aware of anything. Noting is the consciousness. Noting is the consciousness. 
when you are practicing walking, your naughty mind is noted walking, 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 right? So, noting is consciousness, nama, no concept. All of them, all of them are called no concept. Discerning them distinctly is accomplishing the sun on the no concept. In noting, falling, sitting, touching, the discerning on the no concept is also a also accomplished in the same manner. In every manner, when, when you are noted, when you are present, the teacher, in every movement, you can see two phenomena. The first entity is Rupa, second entity is Nama. Then you will have the knowledge of Nama Rupa Vrecce Ganyana. Yes. If you have the Nama Rupa Vrecce Ganyana, it is, it, is, it is called you accomplish the discerning Dopa Satya. In Bhamish, no part this are feeling. So you have to know, you have to know every movement, you have to know every nature of the things. In so every step, for example, now look at me. Um, uh, you know, bandit, 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 for example, five points. In five points, at the very first point, bandit, this bandit movement is Rupa, this physical thing. And my mind is noted, bandit. It is another thing, another entity. So those two happen at the same time, but they are not the same. They are happening differently. Mind is one thing. Movement is another thing. So Rupa and Nama, you see clearly, you see distinctly. So and another movement, bend, second second note, bend, third note, bend, fourth note. And then fifth notion. In every notion, you see two phenomena, two things. Nama and Rupa clearly. It is Nama Rupa Brechi Ganyana. And we can call it, you are seeing, you are discerning the Dokha Satya. It is Dokha Desabu, feeling it. Understand that? Yes. Uh, so, now you accomplish the task of discerning Dokha Satya. Another one. Accomplishment of abundance is Samudhya Satya. Samudhya Satya is one kind of desire, lust, and you know, wanting something. One noted rising desire, attachment, lover, and then uh, Samudhya have no chance to arise. Therefore, they have been discarded. Eliminated thus, discarding Samudhya Satya is accomplished in the same manner in noting, falling, sitting, touching, and so on. Elimination of Mudya Sajja is accomplished in the same manner. Okay, you have another task. All you have to do is to eliminate the Na. How will you do that? So, all you have to do is to note. All you have to do is practice to be able to catch every moment. And when you are seeing Nama and Rupa at the same time, there is no chance for Tana to come into your heart. But if you if your mind is present, of course, the now is very, very, very close to your heart. It's ready to come in. It's ready to come into your heart. The now. The now is your best friend. In another way. Because he is your close friend. Every time he's waiting the chance to come into your heart. But every time, generally people are people are you know, ready to, to accept the, the now in their heart. Every time they see the beautiful figure, all very beautiful, if the love is inside your heart. Then every time you hear the voice, all very beautiful sound, then the love is in your heart. Every time you smell, all very fragrant, and then the love is in your heart, deeply rooted in your heart. And then every time you eat, oh, how delicious, so the love is deeply in your heart. Every time you're touching some you know, soft thing, oh, how smooth, how soft, okay, very good. When you feel, when you feel something, then the love is deeply rooted in your heart. And then every time you're thinking about dreaming, daydreaming about like, oh, I will be a millionaire one day, okay, I will buy a car, I will buy a lot luxurious things. You're thinking about many things in your heart. So the love is deeply in your heart. So how will you eradicate that now? Very difficult, you see? Very, very difficult to eradicate now. 
So when we think about ourselves, so we will see that clearly, oh, the Nam is our close friend. Okay, the Nam is our best friend because he is always never, never abandoning us. Never abandoning us or never you know, going away from us. He's always with us. So, but actually, according to the teaching of the Buddha, he's our enemy. So how will you kill it? How will you eradicate it? All you have to do is to practice the meditation. All you have to do is to be able to catch every moment of the thing, every moment of the nature of the thing. For example, now you're moving, 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 moving. But when you were thinking about it, okay, I'm moving, I'm moving, and, and I'm moving to cast the glass, something like that. And I'm moving to cast the glass, and I'm moving to drink water, something like that. Um, okay, okay, in that movement, the now is involved. So, to eradicate the now, how would you do that? Okay, move it, move it, move it. Move it, move matters, rupa, and no demand is nama. Move it, move it, move matters, rupa, and no demand is nama. You see, nama and rupa each, at each melting. So, nama, rupa. Okay, move in. No, uh, not a person is moving, but nama and rupa are moving. You got it? Nama and just nama and rupa are moving, not a person is moving. If you regard as a person, okay, the nama is deeply rooted in your heart. So, by doing so, you can eliminate that nama. Then, that is the accomplishment of abandoning samudhi, etc. That now is the cause of suffering. So now you can, by noting, you can eliminate, and you can abandon samudhi, etc. The cause of suffering. And the, the last one, accomplishment of attaining nirvana, etc. Nirvana, etc. is one noting rights and law of the now having no chance to arise is annihilated. Since law of the now is annihilated, attachment is eliminated. Because grasping upadana is annihilated, karma that arises due to upadana is also annihilated. Since karma is annihilated, bhava that arises due to karma is also annihilated. Because bhava is annihilated, jati, padisanti due to bhava is annihilated. Since but this Sunday is annihilated, aging, alien, death, anxiety, sorrow, and lamentation are all annihilated. Thus attaining Nirodha momentary, sorry, thus attaining Nirodha momentary is accomplished. In the same manner, while noting fall and sit and touch and so on, attaining Nirodha momentary is accomplished well. Here, I need to explain about the, you know, Attaining the order such a momentary. How how we feel? How we feel you are in a nirodha such a momentary? Okay. When you are able to catch one moment, one moment of name, one moment of dhamma, speaking, can you know it? When you are speaking? No, no way. But when you are thinking, you cannot think it, think it, think it. But when you are looking at something, you can know. Look and look and look and when you are listening to something, listening, listening, listening. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. Then you see two phenomena at the same time. Nama and Rupa, Nama and Rupa. Just Nama and Rupa are listening. Just Nama and Rupa are moving. Just Nama and Rupa are looking. Not a person a person not a person looking at. Not a person listening. Not a person moving. You don't regard as a person, but you just regard as Nama and Rupa separately. You see things separately. Only then, there is no chance for Tana to come into your heart. At other times, you are letting Tana to come into your heart. Every time, every moment. So, it is very dangerous situation for you to be in a woeful situation and to, to be in the hell. Is there anyone who wants to? Who wants to go to hell? No. no, nobody wants to go to hell. But because of your lust, because of your tana, that tana will lead you to go to hell. Oh, well, here I don't want to talk about the hell. Well, I just want to talk about the how to eradicate the cause of suffering. If you can, if, if you can eradicate the cause of suffering, yes, that state, that stage, or 
uh, that situation is called a place where there is no dana, there is no cause of its suffering. But how will it be directed? Just know it. Now, I am talking to you. You are listening to me. How will you know that? Listen, listen, listen. Who is listening? Nama and Rupa are listening. Okay? Not a person is listening to me. If you can regard, if you can regard so, if you can feel so, yes, no doubt, you are able to eradicate it now, every moment. So by doing so, when you don't have it now in your heart, for one second, just a second, that second is called a moment there is no dana. So you attain nirodha momentarily at that time. Nirodha means nibbana means you know, ni wana. Ni plus wana. Ni is nil, wana is lust. So no lust, no no desire at one single one single moment. So in one second, in one second, one notion, you don't have to have now desire, lust in your heart. That moment is called Nirodha. Do you understand that? That moment is called Nirodha. So to to reach Nirvana or to feel the Nirodha Sajja, you have to be mindful of that. You have to be mindful attentively to see each and every each and every uh, phenomena of the thing, phenomena of everything. Uh, each and every step of everything. By noting, sitting, and uh, standing, and uh, speaking. Otherwise, how can you eradicate the now? No way. No way. So, the aim you are practicing is to eradicate the now. To, to eradicate the now. Only then will you be able to feel the Nirodha Sajja. So, how will you eradicate the now? You have no way but practice every moment you have. Can you? You have to. You have to. So that's why we have to go to the meditation center for a long time. Sometimes we have to practice for one month, two months, three months, one year. No way for you. Okay? So we have to practice again and again and again and again to be able to eradicate the now. It is called Niroda Sajja. You are in a position, you are in a right time when there is no tana. There is no tana or lust or at that moment. It is called the accomplishment of attaining the order center momentarily. In Bali, in Bali we, we call that the Dinga Niruta, the Dinga Niroda. So the Dinga Niroda, to get the Dinga Niroda, you have to you have to be able to catch the Dinga. The Dinga thing, the Dinga Daya, okay? The Dinga movement, first of the rising and falling. If you if you are able to catch the rising movement, oh, rising, rising movement is Rupa, no demand is Nama. Uh, not a person is, you know, not a person is breathing it, just Nama and Rupa is breathing it. So if you see that, if you see so, there's no chance for the Nama to come into your heart. That moment is called Miroda Sajja. You got it? Okay. Now in the same manner, when noting falling, sitting, touching, and so on, attaining the order momentarily is accomplished. So that's the end. So the four tasks are cultivating, metta center, and discerning, dokkha center, abandoning, samudhya center, realizing, nirodha center. Four tasks in one point. In each and every point, in each and every notion, if you if you can do four tasks, cultivating mantra such a cultivating a practice in the eightfold path, and then designing the dokha such a okay, this is nama, this is rupa, this is nama dokha such a, this is rupa dokha such a, if you can see clearly that task is accomplished. Then the third task is abandoning, abandoning some of the other such a tana to eradicate your tana, your desire. Can you? I think you can. One day. So, so abandoning your lust, abandoning your desire every moment, 
Then your task, abandoning or discarding some of your pleasures, will be accomplished. The last one, realizing or attaining Nirvana Satcha. Attaining Nirvana Satcha is there must not lust in your heart in every moment. If you let the not come to your heart, come inside your heart, no, no way for you to realize Nirvana. So Nirvana is really peaceful. That stage is really peaceful. How? How will you feel? Well, the situation in which there's no desire and there's no hatred and there's no conceive some kind of pride, some kind of pride, so your heart is peaceful. Only then will you be able to stay peacefully in every in every movement, sitting, standing, speaking without lust, without desire, without hatred, without pride, okay? without anger. You can do everything. You can do everything without bad things. So that situation is called peaceful movement. And that situation can be called Nirodha movement. Okay? So that's the end of the explanation about the experience of Satya is accomplished. How? The experience of center is accomplished. Okay, I, I must say my topic is how the experience of center is accomplished. Okay? Okay, now let me let me conclude it in terms. Good job, Jama, this Aliba would be the Yama solution, Muri Toka Tisa, the Muria Tisa, the Yora Tisa, the Katasa, the Chigan Yu, the Chigan Yu in Yama, the Yama and the Yama, now each notion. Each note and rise and rise and look at it. Pound and pound and look at it. If pound and yama, but do it pound and all it. Pound and movement that that got rid of that yoga. If I want to do that, that that notion mind that do it now. My consciousness did that. Yoga did that. Nanda did that. Who could be me like that? I don't know who could be me like that. Not a person. In your mind, there is no person at all. I don't think that my whole world is made up. Whole world is made up. And if I pound and change it, that you get it. Kalau paham aja, buat mana dia tadi? Jodoh dia ni, mana dia tak mana dia tak? Jadi, jodoh dia ni tu sama pun, mana dia tak mana dia tak? Jadi, kalau kau yang bawa ni, mana yang ada dia ni? Mau soal dia, mana soal dia? Aku cengeng dia mana sih tu? Aku cengeng dia mana tu? Mau yang ni tu sabo, aku tak kaya dia tu. Mau soal dia mana tu? Mana soal dia? Mau pade soal dia? Aku tak kaya dia tu. Di orang tu sabo, di orang tu sabo. Nampak tu buaya, tu aku buat. Nampak tu sabo, mana dia tu sabo? Mana dia tu sabo? Nampak tu sabo. Tama wasa, tama kiamanda, tama hati wasa, dan tidak mungkin tumba. Tidak mungkin tumba sudah tiada yang ada semua. Kata kata orang jorok ini, sekiranya jorok itu tak segala tiada yang ada semua dalam jorok itu, tiada yang juga ada pada jorok. Jauh saja dari jorok yang suci, ada macam itu jorok itu. Alah, alah kata tama kiamanda, aku elok, aku elok yang elok juga. Kau yang orang yang elok yang elok awam. Dunia tetap di mata ayahku. Punya usaha pun mungkin berbahaya. Kami tu bisa cara bersih mana tu. So, tiada kain yang lecik malu. Di mana yang sih sembuh malu. Jadi kalau tiada kain biru tu, kalau ada lembu ni, tapi kita ada kolai ni. Kalau ada guna apa? Tiada guna apa? Tiada kain yang lecik malu. Cuba, cuba cara ni. Tapi cuba untuk di mana sahul itu lain ni. Kolai ni. Kalau ada, ada mana? Di mana yang jauh itu? Kalau di mana sih orang tanah wata tanah kena ada tanah asli wata ada tiada apa pun yang lecik malu. Ilu yang tertemuan kamu tu, ilu kan di sana ni dek tertemuan kamu mesti lah. Oh, jauh ini solusi ni dia akan mahu solusi ni. Siwa ini lewat lah, siwa ini malu kan ni. Tuhan bersama ni lah. Kalau kita tertemuan kamu asing je ni dek tertemuan kamu asing wah mereka ni cuma dia soal ni. Mana dia cuma dia soal ni. Tiada mereka tu bawa dia soal ni. Kalau nak kata, tama ini mereka ni soal tama wayam. When you are practicing, you have to make an effort to see the nature of things. Di acara ni pun dia boleh ada tu buka. Lama saya ni, lama saya juga mah, cuma show ni yang saya suruh. Lama ni aku ni yang saya suruh ni. Show de, plan de, cuma ada jual de, plan de, cari de, jual de, plan de, cari. Ni aku buat apa saja ni ada. Tapi apa saja pun mau baru je. Tanah waya pun ada jual juga. Baru. Kalau apa saja ni, apa saja, mana lu yang aku tak tahu ni, apa saja tanah waya mah baru de. Tapi tanah waya mah baru mana tanah waya mah baru mana tanah waya mah baru mana tanah waya mah baru mana. Tadi bapa kami sendiri, kami sekarang yang sini yang lima, oh, yang sini yang lima, kami sekarang di sini di, ayam lima macam ni sih, 
，这个路跑没平安嘛，现在跑没也出来，跑有你个跑马的，这个是系列的，他差不多，那路跑那个跑没出来，好不好？跑没是跑没出来了，就跑来了。哎，我嘛，再接着，再接着，就听到这个，哎，路滴滴喳喳，滴滴答答，路滴滴高呢。哎，路高没得看的咯，爸妈都是嘛嘛，身上嘛鬼火的，滴滴阿高没得见过，他妈的你们现在。哎喽，这样打打这点，这样打打这点，怎么样？你说的，不落打打打打打的，不落打打打的，是不？是，龙王嘛变的，哎，你那不年纪了，打打的，哦。哎呦，打打打的是，现在刚拿的，他妈的你那边刚拿的，他妈他妈你那边，他妈他妈你那边是打 one point ness， 他苦力苦背，身上是没有嘛，他苦是没有没有。我妈说，跑没平安嘛，这个跑没平安嘛，他累了背不完没有。我那天里面那个宝物，那天里面那个白布还没有。他妈妈的是，南山的是不是？抓的，南山的抓的是，抓的他开嘛的，是的，白布没有，抓的嘛不是。南山的是，南山的是，谁嘛不是？的白布还没有。抓的是，南山的是，谁嘛不是？的白布还没有。哎，老公啊，他妈他妈你买点多少？他说耶，他妈你买点多少？这个。今天没给他爸爸录录音了嘞，今天没给他爸爸录录音了是吧？他妈，你今天他妈在家爸爸，他妈在家爸爸也是嘞，他妈在家爸说哪个？阿勇没有来的，你那阿勇没有来的，阿勇没有来的，你那嘛，他哥也没有来的，阿妈也没有来的，你妈阿龙好，他们那边来是嘞，金毛那边过来，金卡卡的，金的啦，买个白金有人摔了，我到街边那边一个穿裙子的 artist， never never 不要别人。给人产生的是效果，好好 movement， just the nature， just the movement。哎，有想学的，我好不容易在那玻璃玻璃上晒卡，第一，没办法做。那不说啊，表里这样看人呢，看嘛的，看人呢，不对的就对的，那我这样看人嘛，然后我都的，哎，我们都的嘛，都差了没呀？当然，他妈的没呀，对，他妈的呀，在这边不过啊，哪个呢？怕啦，弄了，都不怕弄啦，一日一日用完都没嘛，这个呢？ Kami lagi dengan jawab asli, hey solusinya, kemari tu dia jadi apa boleh? Anak apa apa kita kita tu anak itu boleh tu sih cari ni. Tu anak itu ni tu ni luar. Ini tu ni luar ni tu sama sama ni macam jawab ni. Kalau sama tengkap apa, sama tengkap apa macam sebab ada orang tu anak itu dia boleh tu sih cari. Tu dia ni orang, dia tu dia mana tu ni mah? Ni ada tu apa tu ni ada? Kau ni sura ni cari mah? Kau ni ada jauh, kau ni ada jauh, kau ni ada apa? Nah. ที่ยุ่งเนี่ยนะครับทุกคนก็จะได้ยุ่งเนี่ยนะครับที่ลูกเว้ยเว้ยเจ้าเจ้าที่เล่นเด็กสาวเว้ยน้ำมันอยู่